then this one is a veranda one. summer house so in the back of our garden we're thinking of getting a summer house and uh, we'll be doing the process in terms of drawing I think we just come into the final stage of everything so I'll show you some of the summer housing this one is quite cute yeah so this is a really nice summer house to put at the back of the garden so we're going for this pretty much this size and the veranda can you see me <laughs> so that was me today it's a really really sunny day and there's something like that so we're not going for something like this so we have our own design that we've done so this one is quite cute I actually like the way the inside of this is painted yeah and um, this one is a veranda one but it's enclosed with glass but I don't really want that. Hello! Hi! It's a long drawn out process isn't it? Let's finalise it. Let's finalise it. Right. Literally. So today is Saturday basically. My mother-in-law she's coming around and you could see the state of my house. Everything was just as of order. The dishing, we are dishing out. They were not in their right, rightful place because my mother-in-law was coming around and I thought I'm just going to make Nigeria sort of chicken stew. And it's just easy because I have some chicken that I've defrosted overnight. And um, I wanted to make the, the stew so that uh, when she comes, we can all just be sort of chatting. I don't want to be like... In a rush as you can see the state of my house guys everywhere was out of order like the kids were the kids things were everywhere the dishes were everywhere so i thought saturdays are for cleaning right this is the mentality i brought from nigeria <laughs> i don't know why i always sac sacrifice my saturday or crucify my saturdays for clean i think it, this is just what we did when i was little so on this day i was just like doing the same thing just cooking cleaning and everything and the house chores was a lot i'm not going to even lie to you you're going to see so anyway as you can see i just loaded the dishwasher and um i'm just going to start tackling the cleaning so yeah see enjoy it and let me know what you think basically Now my time to spend my money. Eh, hey, been the sofa time to jolly. Oh no, cause if I no get that worry, I can see the bars ready, ready to spend. Oh, I want to celebrate. Oh, I want to take a year. Oh, I want to celebrate. So basically, as I was cooking and tidying everywhere out, so my husband decided to um, go to the supermarket and he did the shopping. So I was honestly, that was really his cool. So this is me just unpacking everything that is uh, he bought because that same Saturday, my daughter usually do gymnastic and she's there for an hour and 
uh, an hour and a half uh, is a great opportunity to just quickly dash to the supermarket and do shopping. So that was fantastic. So I was able to, I was doing the cleaning, cooking and everything and he did the shopping. I was just like so happy about that because it just make life easier for everybody if you know what i mean if you're a mom you know if you know you know you know everything has to be in order and i just really hate when my house is so disorganized when things are out of places because I, then i don't rest i i just feel restless i just feel out of order and my kids as well you know with their snack they just you know with kids they're like oh could i have snack can i have snack? i tell you what when i was little we didn't used to do snack yeah I'm just being like old school. I'm not that old. We didn't used to do snack. Now these kids, all they want is just snack, snack, snack. Sometimes it's just like honestly so tiring. So I stack everything up, put everything where they should be, and I was super happy. Then I have mountain of clothes. I always have clothes. I never ever get to the bottom of my clothes. So that's another thing for another day. Just a preference, just to snow. Uh, what a preference. I don't need to play with the chef. Okay, start with that. Oh my god, I cooked the chicken in the oven for like an hour and a bit. The chicken became so tender and all the juice we are just really kind of um, infused into the stew. It's so, it was so delicious, honestly, so delicious. Not too spicy, perfect. The kids were able to to eat it. As you can see, I don't know if you know, when I was putting that, the, the herb I put in my rice was saffron. That's why the color is a bit yellow. Delicious.
basically guys so i thought i'm just going to quickly um do my flower and uh, kind of put it in the vase the flower i couldn't just do it straight away after my husband bought it you know i was like i just i became so overwhelmed because it was just like a lot of things to do so i think this was the last chores that i was attempted to do before going to bed at this point to be honest with you i was so tired because all day i've been literally standing up all day honestly speaking it's not easy to run a house it's honestly it's not speaking easy it's just sometimes it's just um it's really annoying because you can't pinpoint one thing you know you can't pinpoint like oh i've done this i've done this. Sometimes people don't really see the, the value of the, all these little things that you, you do in a home, especially when you're a mom and you're trying to keep your house in a certain way. A lot of effort do go in to be able to keep your house to a certain way. And um, sometimes when you're trying to tell people, like, oh my God, I do a lot of cleaning, I do a lot of this. They don't really, I don't know if they understand. Or under, but this is how I like my house to be. So I have to put that effort to make it like that because otherwise houses that are too scatter scatter <laughs> that house that are too like it just drives me insane i don't really like it i feel restless anyway that's just me <laughs> So guys, today is Sunday and today is um, the school fair, the summer fair in my kids' school. So I had a bit of light in, to be honest with you, you could see from my face, I was absolutely knocked out from the previous day because of the harsh uh, chore that I embarked on. So I was just doing like my morning routine here so that I can get dressed and um, go to the summer fair. And a quick gist, guys. I think I've said it somewhere in the video as well. So when we did the summer ball this year, so it was an auction. I booked for a tent. So I was all ready because I see myself like a VIP. I've seen previous years people book for tents and the tents they will do it so nicely. They will put like prosecco or champagne and everything like that. So I think I was just looking forward to it, but there was like some expectation or I don't know what I want to say, but just keep watching the vlog so that you can see what actually happened. Now my time to spend my money. Hey, been the sofa time to jolly. Oh no, cause if I no get a worry, I can see the bars ready, ready to spend. Oh, I want to celebrate. Oh, I want to take care.
just quickly taking my nail polish off because um yeah i'll do it again when i come i'm rushing because i'm always late everybody's downstairs waiting for me and i'm doing this here incredible <laughs> so guys here is my hooted outfit or what i'm wearing for the kids summer fair just a simple top i really do love this top like i use it for day or night so sometimes when i'm going out in the evening with just like a white trouser or palazzo trouser high heel with a jacket at the top it's such a vibe so this is what i'm wearing it's so simple poor very very chic love it and my hair is a bit i think it's a bit tidy yeah but it's still a bit rough though so let me quickly go because they're expecting like a thousand people on the premises of the school is going to be so busy i can't afford to be late guys <laughs> i don't no i can't be at the back of the queue the gist is that guys so when we went for the summer ball the school summer ball so a bit of prosecco kicked in and they were doing auction then i put my hands up so i managed to get a, a bid for a tent and i want this tent i paid for it so technically i am a vvip to this event so i must not kill i have some voucher for food and everything so let's go see what this tent is and there's a big gist to this bidding during the process there's a gentleman and the wife we have the most fun and they laughed i'm going to sit down and share it with you guys so i'm just going to quickly dash because before my husband starts saying where is this woman <laughs> oh this is look for i'm where's our tent and whoa that is ali <laughs> that's our tent we found our tent yay Ooh. <laughs> eh? That's so cool! Yeah! <laughs> so this is our, our tent. Your tent? Um, <laughs> That's not the tent. No, it's not the tent. This is like. Oh. Very welcome. Okay. Very welcome to sit in with, with the teachers and the tent. Right. This is our tent. Your own, your own area. Oh, sure. Right. Thank you. Oh my god, I got the biggest disappointment of my life. Like previously, they've done it really well, like a proper tent area. Instead, they're giving us an umbrella that, and it was so windy, the umbrella was going off at the end of the day. We have to put it down. It's absolutely disgusted, to be honest with you. A bit disappointed, but oh well. Thank you so much, guys. If you've enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to subscribe. And um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.